into a big, big chamber. Wow. Wow, look at this, you guys. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh my goodness. We just came out of this hole right there. That's the hole we came through. That's how tight it is. four directions so to help us not get lost we're gonna put one of our chem lights on the cave wall here so we can help find our way back out It says RSB 1858, you guys. RSB 1858. So somebody was in this cave in 1858 and carved their initials in here. Now check this out. Look at this here. This is before they had chem lights. Somebody carved an arrow on this cave to mark the way out of this cave. How wild is that? Could you imagine swimming in here in 1858? Did you even have a flashlight then? You had to like swim in with a, a torch lantern. That is nuts. <laughs> old school and those of old school. No, old school, <laughs> old school, old school. Yeah, 1858, guys. Check out this, guys. I found a cave carving here. It's a carving of a deer. Looks pretty new. I don't think it's from uh, ancient Indians or anything like that, but. Still pretty cool. another big passageway. This must be a real uh, dead area with no flow because there's a lot of scum and garbage 
debris floating around in here. So I think this is kind of a dead end, but look at this place. Look how beautiful, beautiful this cave is. I mean, this is scary, but this is like one of the most beautiful places I've seen in my life, man. It's unbelievable. And yeah, it's cool. It looks totally different than when I was back here, when it was all dry. I mean, this is a completely different ball game, completely different cave. Look how tall this cavern is. It goes up like 20 feet. We're so far in the ground, it's crazy. Old school, you're covered in weeds. <laughs> you're like the seaweed monster. There's so many passageways in here. You can easily get lost in here because you start to really lose your sense of direction down here. We're gonna put a chem light right here. So I got this one here. Okay. Gotta break it first like that. And shake it. Probably there's a nice groove right here. Wedge it in. Good. Actually that one's in pretty good. Oh, there's some nice hooks right here. Oh, the cave's like, oh. wow, part of the cave is just like crumbling off. That's kind of scary. All right, there we go. That's a good hook right there. We got the chemlight hooked really nice. So this is marking one of our points. We're going to continue on in the passageway. Mm. Wow, there's some little tubes like down there. <laughs> This on the you just found something? What'd you find? I don't know. I can't uh, let me look. Hold it up. Whoa, check that out, you guys. Check that out. Wow, look at it. It's like some type of animal in there. That's crazy. I don't know what it is. All right. Um, Let's go put that by the exit. We'll grab it on the way out and see what that is. I'll put it on the shelf. Yeah, grab it by, yeah, put it by the exit, by the, put it by the orange chem light, and then we'll look at it later and see what that is. It's okay. some type of animal. It looks like an alien. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's your light. <laughs> something crazy we heard like a crazy sound coming at us like it was a wave or a tsunami boom boom hit the side of the cave really scared us but it's actually a boat wake so there was a boat way outside there traveling through really fast and it threw a big wave in and the wave came in the tunnel that was pretty scary man anyway old school can you get up in that passageway you think careful now don't don't fall down does it look like it goes up to the surface at all? Look at that tube there, you guys. How crazy is that? Oh my goodness, that is that is scary. Just imagining going in there. I'm not gonna mess around in there. There's probably bats in there. That's not gonna be safe. It may lead up to dry land somewhere, but it's too tight for us to get in. Now, in this portion of cave, this is like probably one of the dead ends back in here. We're just swimming back in here. There's a lot of carvings all in here. Some of the carvings, say uh 18 1858 uh there's carvings here from like the 60s it looks like people put their names in here this is pretty wild i mean we're back here with flashlights i couldn't imagine someone coming back here with like a gas lantern or something that would be so scary but anyway we're gonna move on from this chamber we're gonna head back to one of the other chambers where we left our lights and we're gonna head out one of the other tunnels and see what other chambers we can find in here so Let's go check it out. You guys, look at this. We're all the way back to this cave, and all the tools here punched on his carrots like a psycho. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? You gotta figure out how to get away out of here if you're eating carrots. Okay. We're heading down this direction. We've got one of our chem lights right there. Chem lights marking the way out, but we're gonna head down this passageway a little more and see what we can find down this tight little passageway. 
Oh. Oh, gross. Such a tight. Now, this passageway has a really tall roof in it. Look at this, this is beautiful. This is probably where the bats are hanging out too. Pretty awesome. All right, now check this out. Wow, look at this up here, you guys. This is so beautiful. Look at this big passageway. And we have little cracks and different things right in here, little passageways. Uh, there's little holes up there. Okay, this light is splitting in half up here. It's totally wild. This is amazing. Such a beautiful sight. This, I'll tell you, this cave is one of the beautiful places I've ever been. Look at it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Don't, don't touch that. Don't touch that. What is it? Bad? That's probably bat droppings. Is it really? No, I wouldn't touch that, man. I mean, how would mud be? There's no mud there. That's bat droppings. Don't touch that. Rinse it off your hand. That's called guano. Guano? <laughs> yeah. Can you turn the light the other way? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's called guano. That's bat droppings. We don't want to breathe that. We got to be careful in this chamber. School was climbing up this little shelf he found that was dry, and he put his hand into what he thought was mud, but it looks like a big pile of bat poop. It's called guano. Bats roost up in the roof of the cave, and they drop their poop down there. So <laughs> we got to be careful of that because there could be some dangerous bacteria that could make us sick in, in that bat poop there. Old school, you all right? Yeah, I got to have a new carrot. You need a carrot? No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> don't wash your hands before you eat anything, That's dude. Good. That is the craziest thing. That's crazy. I'll stay here until tomorrow. I'll see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. Whew. I can see my breath in here. It's very humid. Okay. There's one of our keb lights there, and there's the other keb light. Awesome. So we're finding our way back to the exit. We're gonna keep heading this direction here. I think there's oh, oh there's a bat. There's a bat. Oh my goodness. There's a bat. Oh. You guys, there was just a bat flying around here. Oh. No. oh. You guys, the bat's flying out the exit. You guys, the bat is cool. Oh, we're old school. The bat. Oh. Bat. Oh. There goes the bat. Rod, you filming? You guys, the bat's flying in and out of our, out of our. Oh. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know. We gotta get out of here. We got a, we got an angry bat. The bats are here, guys. The bats are flying over our head. It must be because it's getting close to evening time. They're getting ready to head out. So we're gonna have to get out of this cave because we're about to get swarmed with bats. There's a couple of them flying around in here already. They don't seem to be bothering us, but I don't want to bother the bats, so we got to get out of this cave. Let's uh, let's grab our chem lights. Just grab our chem lights. We don't leave any garbage in the cave. Uh, old school's got this jar that he found. Looks like someone left us a little uh, jar with a message in it. It's some type of animal. It looks like it's preserved in the jar. I don't know what in the world this is. We need to get out and check it out. So we need to go back out the exit, but we need to watch out now because the bats are flying right over our head. I'm a little nervous. I think there's more than one. Yeah, there's a couple bats. We gotta get out of here. We're about to get swarmed. Mm. I think I see the exit, guys. <sighs> So, I've never been so happy to see this daylight before. Woo! When you're in that cave, you just lose track of time. I and mean, look at old school's hands. 
they're just wrinkled up man we were in the water for a seriously long time now old school he found this jar in here this is crazy what's it say it says sample in a jar something fish now look at this thing it looks disgusting it's like i don't know what that is it looks like an alien or here move that thing right there some kind of crazy looking crawdad look at that look at that what is that you guys that is wild what's this note say <laughs> it says what is this i did not eat the tail sandra sandra who are you and what are you doing in here name me and whisper sweet nothings into my pinchers this is pretty freaky guys <laughs> we got we, got, we were, legitimately it was in that psyche cave from somewhere this is disgusting should we open it guys no. should we oh we should open this what is it here no, I'm gonna leave. well no. we gotta open it let's open it <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. it does look like an alien here so here wait wait before you do that i don't know what is in that juice Ooh, i don't it smells it smells? Oh yeah, it smells. Oh, good. <laughs> it smells. <laughs> oh no, get it get away from my dive gear. Get it away. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, that's Does this smell? Yeah, it does. It's That's not water. Well, I don't know what that is, but wait. Smell it. Smell my hand. Oh <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's old water. Look at okay, that. I'm getting it. Now you know what? Are you gonna talk? Oh, 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 dude! Ew, it stinks. It does stink. It does. Here, just pour the water out and get the get the creature out. Get it out. Oh, look at that! What is that? It's crispy. It's crispy. Yeah, it is. It's crispy. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. That you, is disgusting. You. <laughs> Let me see that. Is that really a crawdad? I don't know what it is, Joey. I really don't. This is so disgusting. So <laughs> we found a preserved creature in a jar in the cave. Somebody left it in there as like a joke or something, but it's seriously like a preserved crawdad or worm or some, I don't know what the thing oh, is. It stinks. And the thing is actually like brittle and crispy and the water smells like something dead. So this is totally disgusting. It says the name Sandra on it. Sandra, I don't know who you are, but you nasty, okay? Why'd you do this to us? It smells like the 1850s. Oh my goodness. <laughs>